right, we are going to be using um, the sum identities again, and this time we are going to be given some angles that we should know the exact values for, or at least have a table that tells us the exact values for. Yes, you can use your calculator to find the sine of 105 degrees. However, we want the exact value, and so you will need to use the identity to do that. Okay. So here we are asked to use the fact that 105 is the same as 60 plus 45 to find the sine of 105. So really, we're finding the sine of 60 degrees plus 45 degrees. Okay, so this is what we need to find. We were asked to find the sine of 105, but 105 we don't know the exact value of. So we use two angles we do know the exact value for, 60 degrees and 45 degrees. So use your table, or if you've got it memorized, use your noggin, and we'll use also our identity for sine of A plus B, since we're doing the sine of two things added. Okay, well that's supposed to be equal to the sine of A, so here's my A, my A is 60, my B is 45. Okay, our identity says you do the sine of A times the cosine of B. So we need to do the sine of 60 times the cosine of 45. Next we do plus and then cosine A times sine B. So cosine of our first angle, 60, times the sine of our second angle, 45. What is the sine of 60 degrees? Okay, hopefully, again, you either have that memorized or you have the table there that shows you the exact value. The sine of 60 degrees is root 3 over 2. What about cosine 45? The cosine of 45 is root 2 over 2. Plus the cosine of 60, the cosine of 60 is 1 half. And the sine of 45, the sine of 45 is root 2 over 2. Now, if you're wondering how I got those again, these are the exact values that we've been learning from the beginning of the course. And you should have that table in your notes. All right, now we're going to continue. We need to simplify this as much as possible. The square root of 3 times the square root of 2 is the square root of 6. And in the denominator, 2 times 2 is 4. Here, 1 times the square root of 2 is just the square root of 2, and in the denominator, 2 times 2 is 4. We have a common denominator, so we can go ahead and add those. We can't add square root 2 and square root 6, so we just have to leave them. They're not the same root. Um, and this would be as simplified as it gets. This is our exact answer. The square root of 6 plus the square root of 2 over 4 is the sine of 105 degrees. All right, let's do another one. So here, we're asked to use the fact, again, that 105 is 60 degrees plus 45 degrees, okay? But this time, we're asked to find the exact value of the cosine of 105 degrees. So this time, we're going to have to use the identity for the cosine of A plus B. Again, how is that working here? Well, we're asked to find the cosine of 105 but we want the exact value, not the decimal value. So we need to use two angles that we know the exact values for, 60 degrees and 45 degrees, okay? All right, so we use our identity for cosine of A plus B. It's the cosine of A times the cosine of B. So that would be the cosine of 60 times the cosine of 45. Opposite sign here, so minus, Notice we were doing a plus b, but with your law of cosines, you get an opposite sign there. Sine of the first angle, so sine of 60 times sine of the second angle, sine 45. We put the exact values for those, okay? So the cosine of 60 is 1 half. The cosine of 45 is the square root of 2 over 2. Minus the, the sine of 60 is root 3 over 2 times the sine of 45, which is also root 2 over 2. Again, those are our exact values from our table. Multiply 1 times the square root of 2 is root 2, and 2 times 2 is 4. Root 3 times root 2 is root 6, and 2 times 2 is 4. 
they have a common denominator, so I can go ahead and combine them. I can't actually subtract root 2 and root 6 and leave it as an exact value, so I just leave them like that. My answer would be root 2 minus root 6 over 4. That's the exact value of the cosine of 105. Okay. We're going to do a, a few subtraction now. Okay. So let's take a look here. Using the fact that 15 degrees is 60 degrees minus 45 degrees, find the exact value of the cosine of 15 degrees. Again, so we want the exact value, which means we need to use two angles that we do know the exact value for. So the cosine of 15, we're using the fact that 15 is 60 minus 45, and we know the exact values for 60 and a 45 degree angle. Okay, now we use the cosine identity again, but this time for the difference. Okay, so this, this is our identity for cosine of A minus B. And that is cosine of A times cosine of B. So cosine of your first angle times the cosine of your second angle. So cosine 60 times cosine 45. Opposite sign, again, law of cosines, you use the opposite sign. So it's plus sine of our first angle, which was 60, times the sine of our second angle, 45. That gives me, all right, cosine of 16 degrees is, excuse me, one half times cosine of 45 is root 2 over 2, plus the cosine of 60 degrees is root 3 over 2, times the sine of 45 degrees, which is root 2 over 2. So sine times sine. This gives me root 2 over 4. And here I get root 6 over 4. So my cosine of 15 degrees is the square root of 2 plus the square root of 6 all over 4. And that is the exact value. Right. We're going to do one more of these. So again, we're using subtraction now because we're trying to find the sine of a 15 degree angle. Okay, And again, we're using the fact that 15 is 60 minus 45, and we know the exact values for 60 degree and 45 degree angles. Since we're doing sine, okay, we're doing the sine of 60 minus 45, right? We're going to use the sine identity for the difference of two angles, which says you do the sine of A times the cosine of B, or the sine of your first angle, so sine of 60 times the cosine of your second angle, minus, okay, so law of sines uses that same sign you're working on, the cosine of A times the sine of B, so the cosine of your first angle, cosine 60, times the sine of your second angle, sine of 45. Our exact values here, the sine of 60 is root 3 over 2. The cosine of 45 is root 2 over 2. The cosine of 60 is 1 half, and the sine of 45 is root 2 over 2. And we just simplify to finish up. Root 3 times root six, 2 is root 6, and 2 times 2 is 4. And 1 times the square root of 2 is root 2, and 2 times 2 is 4. Um, the most we can do here is combine these as a single fraction. So we get square root 6 minus square root 2 all over 4. And that would be the exact value for the sine of 15 degrees.